Sean, we're here next to an Israeli race car. This is a racing car which fits the standards of Formula One. No, there are no uh, car racings in Israel yet. Uh, but what we're talking about here is a special project, uh, cooperation between the Ben Gurion University, the Betzal Academy of Arts, and we're talking here about a car which will be competing in a special uh, competition in Italy. We're um, actually having our first uh, drive for our for a new uh, for a new BGR car. It's a FSAE car under a category uh, specified by the um, Engineering Society, American Engineering Society. Uh, uh, this uh, car is going to compete. Uh, tell us where it's going to compete. It's going to compete in Italy next week. It's a uh, it, uh, during a competition called FSAE Formula SAE. It's a competition worldwide, uh, having uh, eight uh, eight events around the world. Uh, there's one in Italy, and we're going to compete at, at it. Um, the competition is uh, ha is uh, made out of eight, around seven uh, seven different events. Racing cars in Israel? That's not something that that we see a lot of. No, not yet. Hopefully, what you will see more of them uh, in the next few years. There's another uh, team, and the, the next BGR 2013 has already started working on their, on the new car, and there's more uh, universities that are involved in uh, building cars. <laughs> but racing in Israel? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hopefully, hopefully soon, but not yet. I initiated the contact between Betzalel and the BGR and the Ben Gurion University, and uh, I ran the project uh, with our very talented and dedicated students. It's a full year uh, program in which we collaborated with the Ben Gurion students through the whole design uh, process. Uh, from uh, engineering packaging all the way to concept sketching until uh, we provided them with a uh, three dimensional files from which they built the cover the outside the skin of the vehicle as you see today so tell us a bit about the challenges I mean there's probably much of uh, many limitations I mean it's, it's it has to, to drive fast there are great uh, constraints uh, with regard to aerodynamics, weight, uh, visibility, safety, uh, strength, stress, and particularly aerodynamics. We treated aerodynamics very uh, seriously as if the car was traveling uh, much faster than uh, it is actually destined. And uh, we uh, employed all the aerodynamic uh, knowledge and uh, research that was provided to us by the Ben Gurion students. So if they told us, for instance, that uh, a certain uh, gap or cavity needs to be uh, provided or a certain distance uh, needs to be taken care of, then we, of course, took care of it. We provided our own initiative and our own ideas on how to do things so that uh, the concept would, uh, would live through uh, the constraints. But uh, we principally see constraints as, uh, as a measure of ability of the designer, of uh, any designer. So uh, if we have uh, great constraints and we still live through it as designers, uh, this is our achievements and this is our challenge.